Well, everyone has a role to play to save the turtles that call this country home. According to Project Manager of Coastal Dynamic, Dr. Michel Casabon Manette, five of the seven sea turtles that nest on these shores are all endangered and need our cooperation to strive. During a webinar hosted by the Ministry of Planning, Dr. Casabon Manette highlighted why is it important that these turtles survive. Ian Waysan reports. Although the leatherback turtle is the most popular of the sea turtles that nest here, four more species, including the hawksbill and the green turtle, do so and need our help. And we need them. Hawksbills eat sponges, and sponges compete with corals for space on the reefs. These turtles face day to day threats like accidental catching, sagassum seaweed, and coastal development. Turtles have been given help by legislation from government and other measures over the years. When it comes to coastal development, there are ways it can happen without them being harmed. Um, the primary goal is lowering, you know, you, don't, you, you use as little light as possible. You orient it in a way so that it's facing away from the beach. You choose lights with a red wavelength instead of a white or yellow wavelength. Um, you place them again very low down. You use vegetation as a barrier so that the light, while the light is lighting your hotel space or your development, it's not casting light on the beach itself. The green turtle is poached primarily for its meat, while the hawksbill's pretty shell is a target for poachers. Dr. Kazaban Manet says it's difficult to put a number to the poaching of the turtles. Because there's a habit now, not just of slaughtering the turtle on the beach and leaving the remains but people actually come and remove the entire turtle so sometimes poaching is happening with no evidence left behind except maybe a witness who saw them leave or um, you can see tracks of someone dragging the turtle away from the beach and that kind of thing other things we can do to save the turtles are cleaning up after ourselves as garbage poses a major hazard for these creatures ian wason ttt news